Welcome back to Community Connection, live from the historic Davis Islands. These islands were initially envisioned as a luxurious residential community. In fact, it has been 100 years since the first lots were auctioned off. That is this October. That marks 100 years. And while a lot has changed in a century, there's plenty that has remained the same, including where we are right now, the business district. And to get a tour, an idea of what is on Davis Islands, we took a golf cart tour with the man who literally wrote the book. Ready. Let's roll. Let's go. And to launch us forward here. <laughs> it's not a big place. Yeah, this is the Ritz, another original apartment building. That's Howard Dora there. But it's also its own little world. There's other than Danube and, and the Davis Boulevards, there's no straight street here. Everything curves. Most of them curve back on themselves. It's a world that's easy to get lost in. It was just an engineering feat, but also it was just a, a feat of just um, you know, hubris, just the idea that you could even do something like this. And then he, 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 he did it. The idea of developer and Tampa native David Paul Davis, mud dredged from the bottom of Hillsborough Bay, created what's now Davis Islands. Is it Davis Island or Davis Island? So despite what some people say, it's Davis Islands. Uh, there are still two islands, but I don't. In Riviera, the street itself is just historical because it's a small, it's the smallest island even when... So now we're on the island. Now we're on the little island, uh, Riviera Island, the Riviera Circle. Taking us back in time, historian Rodney Kite Powell shared some of what you might miss if you don't know what to look for. This house is original. It's beautiful. Yeah, exactly, it is fantastic. The planned community promised a certain way of life, mixed use housing, apartments, one parking garage. Um, and then you could also, they had car repair there as well. Still a garage. And it's still a garage. Single family homes. Which you can see on our left, yeah, a row of original houses and then this is really kind of a really good sense of what the original architecture was. A city park, a marina, a pool. Uh, here's the Mirasol. So the Mirasol was built as a hotel and it opened in 1926. There was even a nine-hole golf course which of course today is now home to more homes. You know it is still one of the most sought after places to live today. Among buildings almost a century old, there's new history. Mega mansions lived in by stars, gated driveways, but not a closed community. The charm remains, a feeling of home. But it's, there's something just special about going over that bridge and once you kind of, once you kind of land at the, on the island and kind of make that little bit of a right turn, you just, you're, you're there. And here we are. You can also take a golf cart tour here on Davis Islands. D-I-E-V rents out golf carts. Of course, it is very popular here on Davis Island. And an interesting fact, Peter O'Knight Airport and also Tampa General Hospital, they were not part of the original plan. Coming up, we're gonna take a closer look at Tampa General. 